I had kind of a, uh, a, a too close childhood, as the saying goes. Uh, I was born in New York City. Uh, 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 doctors lying in hospital, which was part of the Bellevue Medical System, which was part of New York University, where my dad was a professor. My mother had come to New York from Oregon, uh, had to take some courses, and she took a course from my dad, and they fell in love, and, and she married the professor. So after I was six weeks old, they got it, piled everybody in the car. Uh, that would have been my older sister and, and myself and uh, mom and dad, and we went uh, drove all the way across the country to Oregon. So that was my first long road trip, and I feel like I've been on the road ever since. Mm. <laughs> Uh, uh, and I, I literally have, but I spent uh, most of my childhood uh, uh, on a, a series of ranches in Oregon. At first, just in the summertime, and then the ranch properties became so complex that someone had to be there to manage them all year long. And uh, my my mother stayed in Oregon, and my dad would come to New York and and teach, and he'd come out for Easter and Christmas, and then all summer long. So we did that for a number of years. And uh, they got along fine. The marriage was fine, and uh, we were fine. And pretty soon, four years later, my brother came along, my brother John, and uh, he was also born in New York City. And then he came west when he was six weeks old. So uh, we kept the kept the ball rolling, kept coming to Oregon, going back to New York, and all that. I spent some of my childhood years in Oregon during the winter as well. I mean, in New York during the winter as well. And my first acting experience was when I was the age of eight. I was, my mother got me involved in a, a biblical play for children at Christmas time at the Greenwich Settlement House in New York City, down in Sheridan Square. And it was just a, a community theater situation with children. And I was cast as King Herod. And I put on the long flowing robes and the crepe hair beard, and I ran it and raved around the stage there. Uh, throughout the play, and I, I knew my words, and and I knew my lines, and I knew my my marks, and I hit everything perfectly, and didn't forget anything. And uh, at the end of the performance, the people clapped, hey, clapped pretty loudly, and I was uh, very taken, very <laughs> impressed with that. And I thought, well, if they like this so much, I, I've, I've got to find out more about this. So I continued to study acting in my. Uh, junior high and high, and high school. I went to private tutors in New York for a while, but I, I studied it mainly in, in school, in junior high and, and high school. And by that time, the ranches had had uh, uh, stabilized, and we had sold one of them, and uh, we just had one left. And we moved down to California for the winter time to go to school, my brother and I and my mother, because she wanted us to be child movie stars. And uh, at that point, I had I had skipped a couple of grades, uh, uh, childhood grades. I think I skipped the second grade and then the fourth grade or something like that. So I was only 16 when I graduated from high school, and uh, I guess 16 or 17. I don't know, but I went. I entered college when I was 17, I think. And three years later, when I was 20, I just finished my junior year at NYU in New York City. And uh, I did uh, plays at University High School and plays at uh, the junior high school there. Uh, and and uh, was involved in the theater and, uh, when I went to Beverly Hills High School for one year. So we did a big musical at, at that time, at like 90210, you know. Right. And then uh, went over to uh, Uni High and, and did several plays there. And I was involved in the theater department uh, very heavily. We had a lovely teacher there named Grace Barnes. And uh, one day I was rehearsing something, and she said to me, Mr. Drury, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm acting. And she said, well, don't act like that. And that was probably the best direction I ever got from a, from a director or a teacher. She said, don't act like that. Well, that set me back. And I started figuring out what she meant. And of course, she meant tone it down and don't be so broad and and, and make it more believable, which I found out with a vengeance when I finally, I, I had finished my junior year at New York University. I had been involved in 12 of the major plays of Shakespeare and in small parts and larger parts and, and all kinds of parts. But of course, 
if you start, start studying Shakespeare and rehearsing it, you learn the lines because it's just beautiful poetry, and you just absorb the plays. So I got to the point where I could quote a lot of Shakespeare and and really had a, a lot of background in the playing of Shakespeare. Uh, Randolph Somerville at New York University was the, one of the world's experts at that time uh, on the playing of Shakespeare, not whether... Uh, Francis Bacon wrote the plays or any of that nonsense, but just Shakespeare as we have it has come down to us after 400 years. And uh, uh, he he taught me to play Shakespeare. And, of course, I believe if you can play Shakespeare, you can play anything. But uh, I came to California and just for a vacation, and I had auditioned for a talent scout named Dudley Wilkerson at uh, Lowe's Incorporated, which was MGM, uh, in New York, and I didn't think he was very impressed with the audition because he was getting his shoes shined throughout the thing, and the guy kept shining his shoes. But he had called out to California, and they called me on the phone and asked me to come to MGM Studios and talk to them about a contract. I went out and talked to them, and they signed me to a contract. So I don't see They hadn't uh, shot any film on me or anything, but they were impressed, and they signed me to a contract, a seven-year contract. And then I did a screen test with a scene from uh, From Here to Eternity when uh, Tony Curtis is, I mean, uh, uh, Montgomery Cliff is uh, at Donna Reed's house. You know, he's uh, staying with Donna Reed and they're they're having a, an affair and he has to get back to his barracks and all that. And I did that scene and I wish I had it because I could show it to young actors about what not to do when you're acting in film. I was so broad. I had so many broad gestures from my work on the stage, my work in Shakespeare, and I was just uh, just uh, over, overpowered everything, and, you, and, and nothing was believable. Uh, believable. So uh, I'm going to try that again. Believable. <laughs> nothing was believable. And uh, uh, the problem was, you know, you find out that if you raise your eyebrow in 70 millimeter panavision, it goes up 18 feet. So you have to restrict your movements restrict your expressions, restrict your arms and legs, and restrict your whole method of, of uh, portraying a character. And I, when, I, when I mentioned the word, word method, that's not what I was practicing. Uh, as far as the Stanislavski method, I have great respect for method actors. I think we all get to the same place by different routes. And uh, I've never really studied the method. I've, I've i uh, read the Stanislavski books, you know, the actor and actor prepares and so forth. But we all have our own method, and the method I use is is what is what I've developed over the years, I, ever since I was eight years old. So I bought, I, I looked at that screen test, and I brought my my gestures and my expressions way, way down. And uh, obviously, I was successful because I had a very successful career in films and television. Uh, before I started the Virginian, and, and uh, of course it continued through that period, and then some activity afterwards, not nearly as much as I would have liked, but uh, I did uh, quite a bit of acting afterwards, and uh, and I, I'd uh, always like to do more. So I'm 79 now, and uh, that, that prospect gets dimmer and dimmer in the receding uh, horizon, but uh, anything is possible. Uh, Sir John Gilgood was working when he was 97. Right. So I've got a chance anyway to do some more films, and I sure hope I do. 